Yo homes, welcome back to another graph video for you tutorial and in this tutorial I will teach you how you can convert a very raw resolution file of a logo or something like that into a vector file without going through the entire process of recreating it. It's a combination of Illustrator and Photoshop and let's begin. Let me give you an example. Suppose you're working for a client and they don't have the logo in vector or any high resolution. And uh, if you work in Illustrator or some other vector editing tool, you know the beauty of vector and the amount of control you get, especially in case of logos. So, uh, and plus, uh, using a low resolution, resolution file is really bad for the brand image. So, the best path is to Vectorize the image, but if the image is really raw resolution, you cannot use the trace function to get an accurate result. And in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to solve that exact issue. It's, let's just head out to Photoshop. With the screenshot you have taken from social media, uh, just put it into Photoshop and then we will use the Photoshop's enhance mechanism to increase the size of the uh, for this you will probably need the latest version of Photoshop uh, it's the 2021 and just with the image in there go to image and image size and there you will get an option to resize it just put the new size you want it to be the resolution and the aspect ratio and make sure you have the preserved details 2.0 selected in the resampling menu with that just hit ok and watch photoshop do the magic it's not absolutely accurate but it's the closest to accurate you can get with the least amount of effort you can already see the difference now if you will if you don't want to use it in uh, in vector stuff you can just end the work here but you probably want to use in vector stuff which is why this is we'll just move on to erasing the background we're do doing it in photoshop first so that we have a file with less amount of colors and also this will work best with logos with very few number of colors not something with very high number of colors gradients and stuff might not work well in this process moving on we are erasing the background with the magic eraser tool so that to reduce the amount of uh, details so that the tracing process works better in illustrator this uh, erasing details works much better in photoshop than illustrator and since we are doing a part of it in photoshop anyway why not go the full width now just uh, erase out some other parts with the normal eraser tool and uh, yep. we'll just save the file in png and move on to illustrator let's bring the uh, high res exported file into illustrator to now let illustrator do its magic with the file there Head on to the properties section and we'll get an option of image trace since it's a single black color logo just default will work fine. So hit ok and let us do the magic. And now you have a close enough vector of the very low resolution logo you initially had. Now just delete out the unnecessary parts with ease you were using the direct selection tool. The shortcut is A and till it is there. And with that, you have your logo ready in vector format. This one catch though, if you're going for an exact replica, this won't give you an exact replica. There will be some missing edges, a few hits and misses. It's just about uh, doing something otherwise very long in a very simple and easy and effortless way. Uh, if you're working for someone with a proper budget, someone who needs, doesn't have logo and is in high resolution in exact format, just go for a proper budget to recreate the logo in the vector form. Otherwise, this is the hack.
now you can see the difference between the original screenshot we took and the vector well uh, thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you found the tutorial useful uh, do subscribe to the channel for more and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss new uploads there's already quite a few tutorials live on the channel and there will be more coming let me know what you think about the tutorial what i should make video on next on the, in the comment section check the description for useful links like links to my other social media accounts and hope to see you in the next video till then stay with the crowd and matane